everyone, welcome back to another video. So, today we have been gifted with a brand new dinosaur. You heard that right. So, this is a brand new dinosaur in Path of Titans. It literally just dropped yesterday, less than 24 hours ago. And of course, it's a Chilibator. Now, this is a giant three slot raptor. It's huge. A little bit smaller than Metri, but still, it's quite large for a raptor. So, Today, I'm just going to be going through all of its skins, its subspecies, its abilities, its game style, and at the end, I might even give my total verdict of what I think about it. So, if you're new here, make sure to like, share, subscribe, leave a comment down below if you feel like it, and let's just get straight into this. So, subspecies, we have Giganticus, I think. Uh, this is 20% bleed. Uh, then we've got Calvus, which is 50% acceleration and Barbatus, which is 10% health regeneration. And that's all the subspecies we get. So, let's quickly have a look at the skins, and we shall get into this. So, we have the default skin. Looks really nice. Let's have a look at its female color. It's a little duller. Let's have a look at the Becca skin. Eagle. Flicker. Roadrunner. Masked. Charred. Trogon. Lazon. Vulture, Albino, and Melanistic. Now, I personally really like the Vulture skin. I don't know what it is, just the red and the blacks. It looks really good. Anyway, so, let me get spawned in, and I will show you all of this thing's amazing abilities. And we are in. So, this is a Chilibator, or Achillibator, whatever you want to call it. So, I'm going to go through all of its abilities real quick, and then I'll show them all off and maybe explain some since I've messed around with this thing a little bit this morning. So, first of all we have Bite, causes medium damage. Raptor Strikes, a quick attack that increases in power with each hit. And Shred, a powerful attack can only be used whilst pounced on an enemy. So, you know, it's got three bites, one head slot, but a pretty unique one there with Shred. Which unfortunately I can't show because I don't have anything to pounce. <laughs> Senses, we have Lone Hunter. Then we've got Mob Boss. Increase the t the damage of all small raptors in your group by 3% when near you. Stacks up to 7 times for each small raptor in your group. Disabled if there is more than one Achillo in the group. So this basically means Achillo is like the top dog of a group and all the small raptors, they get stronger when they're around it. Hunter's Instinct. Increases land movement speed by 5% when not in combat. Then we've got Cruel Swipe, a claw attack that deals more damage to heavier enemies. This is one of the most unique things I've ever seen. We've never had an attack that deals more if the enemy is heavier. So this is kind of unique and I really like it. Then we've got Claw Attack, causes medium damage and deals additional damage if used while pounced onto the enemy. Then we've got Metabolism, which is Hyper Carnivore and Scavenger, they're just normal. Hide, Survival of the Fittest. Increased speed by 10% while bleeding and envenomed. Does not activate when in group. So, that's really cool actually, because that means if you get bit or have venom on you from a Megalania or a Metri, this basically means you can just run away if you really need to. And it's so good for solo, trust me, it's really good. Then we've got Hollow Bones, reduces jumping stamina cost by 50%. That's a lot. Strength in numbers, increases your armor by 2% for each nearby small raptor in your group. I don't know if this has a stack limit, so I think at most you could probably have like a 10% stack or something. That's kind of crazy. Then we've got Pounce, which I'm not reading that. You know how Pounce works. Then we've got Ripping Kick, lunges forwards, dealing medium bleed damage. That's cool. Leader of the Pack. Increases your speed by 5% while grouped with small raptors who gain a 25% increased jump height when nearby. Disables if there are more than one Achillo in the group. So, in it increases your speed by 5 and every raptor that's with you, like Dononicus or Latin, I, I believe that's small raptors, they get 25% more jump height. That's ridiculous. Then we've got Counterbalance for Tail. Use 15% less stamina when running. And Rudder. Improves jump control, reduces 4 damage, and reduces jump stamina cost by 50%. Then we've got voices. So, first of all we've got Warcry. 10% increase to armor and stamina recovery of nearby small raptors in your group for 30 seconds. So they get more armor and recover stamina faster. 
Panicking Sprint. Replenish 25 stamina and reduces the attack damage of all nearby creatures by 20% for 30 seconds. That's crazy. And that replenishes a lot of stamina. It's like instant as well. It's beautiful. Bark increases the attack of all raptors in your group by 8% within 30 meters for 20 seconds. Able to stack up 10 times? Holy, that's an 80% increase for 20 seconds. Wow. <laughs> that's amazing. Anyway, so I've already equipped some of these, so let's just show off what they are. So first of all, we have the regular bite. It's just a bite. Then we've got the claw. I believe this claw is called Cruel Swipe. Kind of like hugs in on the opponents. Really cool. Uh, I've forgotten the name of this one already. Panicking Sprint. So we've got Panicking Sprint here. That's a really cool. So obviously I didn't use any stamina, but if I had, I would have gained quite a fair bit back. Let's have a look at the pounce. You know, it's a pretty average animation. At least it doesn't do what Deinonychus and Latin do, where you can catapult, catapult yourself across the entire map. And here's Ripping Kick. It's really cool. I love that. That it, it suits this creature so much. It's amazing. Anyway, so bear with me whilst I equip the other abilities, and yeah, I'll see you then. Okay, so we are back and I've just equipped some of the new abilities and then after this I have one more voice call to show you and then we can get onto the uh, animations, voice, voice calls, the actual sounds and some other stuff. Anyway, so here we have Raptor Strike. It's just a very fast nip. That's crazy fast. Oh my god. Then we've got the regular claw attack. Ooh, that's really cool actually. I like that. That's really cool. <laughs> Anyway, uh, here we have Bark. Ooh, that's quite spammable as well. And that's all of those new abilities. Let me just quickly equip the other one and we shall be good to go. Okay, so I am finally able to show you Warcry. It, the two minute cooldown. <laughs> it hits hard. Here you go. Oh my god. What? That's crazy! That looks so good! Oh my god, that's amazing! Wow, what an animation that is! Anyway, so, now that we've done that, I'm going to show you some of its unique animations and voice calls. So, first, uh, sorry, so first of all we have the walk. It's just like, it looks like a chicken. Then we've got the trot. And finally we have the run. Oh my god, this thing looks so good. Uh, we've got a very nice jump animation as well. Here you go. Looks really nice. I love that. And let's have a look at its sit and sleep animation. There's its sit. And its sleep is a bit unique because it doesn't just lay on the floor. It actually curls up like that, which I think is really cool. Anyway, let's get on to voice calls. So, we've got the broadcast here. That looks really good. Here we've got the friendly. Oh, I love it. Here we've got the threaten. I love the threaten, by the way. The tail raising up at the back. Man, it's mwah, pristine. It's amazing. Here we've got the distress call. Oh, poor thing. We're, here we've got the regular call, which you would hear if you just typed in chat. So that will what uh, alerts other people to your location if you type. <laughs> and here's the look. Man, this thing's just so cool. And I love how the feathers on the head move as well with the animations. This thing's just amazing. So, I think finally the last thing I need to show you is its eating and drinking animation. So, let's have a look at its drinking animation. Man, that's so smooth. I don't know if you guys can tell, but this thing's animations are so much smoother than normal. Like for an Alderon dinosaur, these are just so well done. Let's have a look at its eating animation. Oh man, that looks so good. 
This thing is amazing, by the way. In combat, this gameplay style, it's like a glass cannon, but not really. I don't know, it's quite tanky for a raptor, but obviously for a three slot, not so much. But at the same time, it does a hell of a lot of damage. So, uh, I believe that has been everything for this video. So, if you guys have enjoyed this video, please make sure to like, share, subscribe, leave a comment down below if you feel like it. Always read the description because I usually put something in there. And, man, this has been amazing. I can't wait to use this thing in a video in game. Uh, my total verdict, I'd say this thing's about... A 7 out of 10. Ignore that voice crack. <laughs> anyway, so thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye.